And we're back to learning Adobe Illustrator and this time I'm going to show you how to create an editable donut chart. Someone in the comment section asked me how to do it. So I'm going to show you a different method on creating the donut chart and then I'll show you how to edit it. First up, I've got the Essential Classic layout right here active. That way I can see one of these graph tools. Right click on it, select the pie chart, hold shift when you drag it on your canvas and you've got this spreadsheet. Let me just type in data A, B, C, D and I give it some random values that add up to 100%. And there's a typo right here in the first cell. Let me fix that. I don't know, let's say 20, 15, 35 and 30. That should add up to 100. I apply it and here is my pie chart. Make sure you've got everything set up correctly and then close the spreadsheet. Afterwards, I've got the selection to active and whenever I select anything in this graph, you can see that all is selected because everything is grouped. Just go to object and ungroup it once and you will get this warning message. So you should be already finished with putting in the correct data before you click on yes. But once you have, you can now ungroup it further. Let me select it all object and ungroup it once more. And now these segments are connected to the correct correct angles in the legend. So this is what we want. We can now select them and give them different colors and the correct angles in the legend are adjusted at the same time. Now select it once more, go to object and ungroup it again. And now these segments and rect angles, they're not connected anymore and I can now use the ellipse tool. Go to the center, then hold shift and alt. And you can drag this circle from the center onwards. Release it, the color doesn't matter, select it. Then use the shape builder tool and hold alt. You will get this minus sign below the cursor and you can left click and drag over the center to delete these elements. Now select only the graph, Control G to group it, and you can now rotate it, size it up, size it down, whatever you want to do. Before you export it, you might want to select it all and group it again, pressing Control G. If there are more questions about it, just let me know in the comment section. It always gives me good ideas about what videos to make. But I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.